Alright, this is the third time recording this. Because the audio keeps messing up, and I'm honestly getting tired of saying this. <laughs> Bullying. I'm honestly out of it now. But don't say I don't ever do things for you guys. Here we go again. Really hope the audio works. Anyways, cyberbullying and bullying in person can be just as dangerous as one another. If not more so. Because words can hurt just as much. Yes, some people can brush them off. But others... It sticks with them and eats them, eats them away. So please just don't do it. It is sad and pathetic, for one. Completely idiotic, rude, mean, negative, and just so immature. You have to learn to grow up learn to mature and respect people and if you don't have anything nice to say then just don't say anything at all it's as easy as that there's no point in bullying and recently cyberbullying towards me I, if you know me I'm so sorry my hair is bothering me I know it's not the length but um if you know me, you know I can brush off almost anything. But certain aspects of me... Oh boy. I cannot let go. My hair wasn't doing this the first two times. But... When it bothers me, it sticks with me. Forever. makes me so very self-conscious and adds on to my self-hatred and poor self-image. Bullying breaks on people's self- What did I just say? Breaks on people's self-image, their confidence, their self-esteem, their happiness, the mood, yes. It just destroys people. So why do it? Break them down to build yourself up for what? Temporarily ruin another life for almost could be forever. Just to boost yours temporarily. Or what you're thinking is boosting yours. <laughs> when really you're not. You're just clouding your mind even more. Thinking that the negative actions were result in a positive uplift in your nature. It does not. At all. Please don't do it. And if you see someone who is doing it, or someone who's getting it done to them, go tell a respected, trusted adult, yes, like, like schools have been telling you, which right now you should know not to do it like seriously anyways get the matter taken care of don't stay silent don't stay a victim tell an adult report them block them anything to help solve it now on to depression and anxiety. Depression has become so mainstream that people don't take it as seriously as they should by any means. It has been, is, and always will be a very serious matter. There are different levels and types of it and a brain scan can show the difference between those with depression that has suicidal thoughts and actions and those with depression that doesn't have those 
because it's a different type, different level. But each type and level should be taken seriously. And do not stay quiet. Because in the middle of my sophomore year, when my closest friend moved all the way to Maryland, I'm in Indiana, so, you know, that's far. That's when my major depression started setting in. My grades started plummeting, just as my mood. But I tried to hide it. And then I got tired of hiding it, knowing I wouldn't for long. And I showed my mother, my mom, the cuts that I had done to my arms. And then I had to talk with my doctor, and then a therapist got prescribed medications for it. And then it w kept getting worse, so then I had to get stronger medications and more sessions. I didn't stick with the therapy, though. I don't trust strangers. But anyways, don't keep quiet and let it eat you alive. Because it will, until there's nothing left of you. It is not a joke, nor suicide. Whether you think or believe so or not, there are those who care about you and who do love you. Don't let it win. Don't let it take you over and take you away. And often followed with depression is anxiety. Depression is where you don't really care, care at all, or just very little. Anxiety is where you care, care way too much and worry and having polar opposites co conflicting inside of you like that is such a hell and anxiety can be pretty dangerous too and serious it's not something to mess around with either just please be careful with what you say and do and realize that just because of smiling does not mean that all is good and dandy they aren't always okay be their friend actually be there for them cause you may be one of the only few that would be now I don't have there are multiple types of anxiety too. Oh, and depression is a chemical imbalance in the brain, but most often caused by an outside influence in the environment around you. Now back with anxiety, I just have social anxiety. To where I do not feel comfortable or safe at all or happy being going somewhere in public on my own. I will procrastinate and put it off as much as I possibly can until I find a way to not be the only one going or to not be the one going. I'll get so self-conscious and worried and automatically just naturally look suspicious even though I'm not going to do anything wrong. Because I just start wor worrying. But yeah, none of this that's been explained is a joke or laughing matter and it needs to be taken seriously you must tell someone that you can trust instead of letting it devour you don't be afraid believe me it can get better maybe not 100% but anything is better than what feels like dying on the inside. Well, with all that said, I'll see you later, guys. This has been Goth Bishop. Bye.